The concept of principal axes is common to many fields in science, in particular the motion of a rigid body. That is one example where principal axes play a significant role in how we understand why an object such as this O-ring can appear as if it's in stable equilibrium when placed on an edge that would otherwise cause toppling. When we consider a rigid body we can calculate the moments of inertia about an axis through the centre of mass and in doing so we can determine the principal axes for this type of motion. Now if we know the moments of inertia about the principal axes we can then calculate the moments of inertia about other axes and this is fundamental to how PCA and other techniques work is that we try to construct a coordinate system in which we can naturally understand how a motion works or how information is distributed within a data set and this is exactly what we do when we do multivariate statistical analysis in fact what we're doing is principal component analysis by another name which is singular value decomposition and the idea is to express a data set described in terms of a data matrix D is then decomposed into a, a matrix U which represents abstract factors that give us condensed information about the data. Similarly if we want to know something about a, a system such as electrons moving in an atom we formulate the Schrodinger equation, we calculate the Hamiltonian for the system and then introduce an eigenvalue problem which when we use the variational principle reduces to a matrix which is the resonance matrix and an eigenvalue problem that determines the energy for the ground state of the atom and this is again determined through the calculation of eigenvalues and eigenvectors in terms of classical mechanics, the O-ring can be described by a set of particles that are distributed around a circular ring. And the position vectors for these particles, if we assume they are unit mass, translate into the moments and products of inertia that can be written down as a matrix. And the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of this matrix define the principal axes for the moments of inertia.